Gamers and game, that's what is going on. My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another Terra console video. And in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a beginner's guide on enchanting your weapons. I know, this video is extremely late. You're probably going to want to slap me for just now making this video. But it's like I told you guys when I first started covering Terra content. I don't want to make videos on anything until I know exactly what the hell I'm doing. So please forgive me. I know this guide is months late, but um, it's not like that. You know, newer players are never going to come to this game. So majority of you guys that probably watch these videos are probably going to know how to do this already. And there's probably going to be veterans in the comments, you know, schooling me in case I make any mistakes or anything like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're probably going to wonder is what the heck is enchanting a weapon? Well, it's um, it's very simple. And also, what weapons can be enchanted? Well. In most MMOs, once you get close to endgame or hit endgame, you get what's called a relic weapon. And it's usually a weapon that, you know, you upgrade and power up over time. And um, in here you get those two, but you also get ones called avatar weapons. Now, this, I, this really struck me weird about Terra. Because when I first played the, the console technical test and I saw people walking around with glowing weapons that were upgraded called avatar weapons I was like what the hell kind of MMO gives you those weapons so early on in the game but Terra gives them to you frequently as you guys can see I have a glowing sword on my back I'm still you know working through the working through the game I'm not I'm not at um, at end game or the end quest line yet but anyway let's talk about these these are usually going to be avatar weapons you get these by getting um by picking up relic pieces, they usually drop from mobs, different bosses in dungeons and stuff like that. Once you get a certain amount of these pieces, you'll come over and it will, it will assemble what's called an avatar weapon. Now these weapons, in order to reach their maximum capacity, they're going to need to be powered up. Which is how they get this really cool glowing effect. Now for this video, we're strictly just going to talk about getting them up to plus 9 because for beginners and running through... You know, the small parts of the game. That's really all you need. The whole plus 12 and plus 15 stuff, we'll save that for um, for a later video. And I have covered that a bit in some of my endgame guides anyway. But um, here's what you do. So as you guys can see here, I already have a plus 9 outspoken. Now, and I have the plus 9 fiendish claymore as well. Both of these weapons are um, are powered up um, avatar, avatar weapons. Now when I first got my weapon, it looked something like, like this, like my 3 score blade for example. Has no glowing effect, as you guys can see this is obviously a stronger weapon, but I'm just using it for an example. And it looks something like this. As you power up these avatar weapons, this is what they look like. And also as you guys can see here, on the stat chart, the stats also increase. Like look at the um, the stats on, on this one, even though it's a stronger weapon, look at just look how small this list is. Compared to the list on, on this one, you get a lot more buffs and increases with your weapon when you power up. So anyway, what you do is, you're going to hit triangle, or Y, depending on which console you're playing on, or even on PC. And you're going to go over here to the enchant, enchantment section. Now as you guys can see, mine's completely done here. But here at the bottom, you're going to see where it says enchanting materials needed are feedstock and alkahes. Now you're always going to want feedstock or alkahes of... The same tier as the weapon or higher. Now where do you find out about the weapon's tier? You're probably going to ask. If you look right here, it's going to say tier 2 superior greatsword. So in order to upgrade this weapon, I'm going to need tier 2 feedstock or higher and tier 2 alkahest or higher. And what I would do is I would just apply these directly to this weapon. As you guys can see, I can't do it here on the screen now because unfortunately the weapon's already done. I would apply the feedstock here into the into the feedstock section, and I would apply the alkahest here into the alkahest section. And then what you're going to do usually for for most um, enchantments, especially lower level weapons, you're just going to go ahead and push auto enchant. That's always going to automatically apply the right amount of feedstock and alkahest. And for these lower level weapons, it's usually guaranteed um, level ups all the way to plus nine, depending on how much you know alkahest and feedstock you have in your inventory but sometimes they will fail it's very very rare to see a low weapon fail for um for a feedstock and alkahest upgrade to get it to um to get it to a fully maxed out plus nine avatar weapon 
But it, it can happen from time to time. And where you can get feedstock and alcohol, guys, like I said, you can um, get it from dungeons. You can get it from killing mobs. You can even buy it on the market board. Honestly, if you have a ton of gold just sitting around, I would say just um, just go ahead and, and buy it and buy it on the market board. That may be the easiest way to, you know, to get your hands to get your hands on some and this is going to work for anything that is specifically an avatar weapon now sometimes it's not not all weapons can do this as you guys can see my three score blade here this one isn't a isn't a, an avatar weapon this one right this one right here is just a, a basic weapon so all I can do with this is just equip crystals to it destroy it etch it dismantle it or you know for um for crafting materials or any other type of materials and, and things like that so it's strictly only avatar weapons that can use this use this upgrade. Of course, you know, once you get to end game, you're going to get special types of avatar weapons that can be upgraded to a higher point. But anyway, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this guide. If you all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.